First of all, I want to welcome everybody for taking time out of their busy day schedule to be with us here today. You know, we've been saying since the start that this project is going to create a lot of jobs in our community, and this is proof of it right here. We've got a lot of the trade unions represented right here. Um, we're going to be putting approximately 500 people to work here for over a year on site. There'll be equally as many construction jobs created in the community to support the uh, supplies and everything that they're going to need here as well. And then once this is done, there's going to be another thousand plus jobs that would be created here for uh, permanently going forward. So we've got all the unions represented here, or most of the unions represented here. We're signing a uh, PLA today. Uh, we're committing to using the unions, putting them to work on this project. We're looking for a high quality um, building when we're done fitting with the character of what was done back in the early days with IBM and we're sure that the trade unions that we have here that are represented are going to do us a uh, first class quality job. So thank you all for coming. And we've got a signing to do for this labor agreement. So there's been a lot of efforts that got went into this thing, not only to get the unions here, but to get uh, our process to where it is today. Uh, on the, to bring up the speed a little bit, on the 30th of June, we submitted our application, the RFA. Uh, that, along with the multi-jurisdictional paperwork, was over 200,000 pages of documents that went to Albany to be reviewed. It was uh, a truck and a trailer load, and that was just us. There's 17 other applicants that are in for the, for the award of four licenses. We're competing with two others, Tioga Downs in uh, Tioga County and uh, Wilmot Projects up in the Waterloo area. So they're telling us that uh, early fall, possibly by the end of October, this award is going to be made. We had a little meeting with uh, Adam Green from the Chase earlier. He's here in the crowd as well, and we're outlining um, how we're going to be able to fast track this project. Because we're saying this thing is going to be start to start until the doors open. It's going to be a one-year project, so we're going to need a lot of efforts. We're going to need a lot of a lot of people, qualified people on site here to actually make this happen. So we're glad that uh, we got everybody signed up here today and we're excited about making this happen for our community. We desperately need it here. Uh, it's a great opportunity for work for all of them and uh, you know casino gaming throughout New York State is, is going to be big for all building trades and it's just going to be a, a you know it's going to bring in people from outside of the area. Uh, I know several times a year uh, for business and work I have to go down to Atlantic City. A couple times a year we go out to Las Vegas so hopefully it'll be the same opportunity for upstate New York. Today's significant, this is jobs for my membership. Um, this is good paying jobs, local jobs, and that's a good thing. The community as a whole, this, this gives us an opportunity to showcase the, the valley here, the southern tier. This labor agreement will have to be an opportunity to put uh, probably approximately four to five hundred workers to work, uh, local folks that live right here in the community, uh, so that's very really important to us. Um, we have a apprenticeship program, so it'll give young folks an opportunity to learn the trade as well. A uh, large project like this is excellent for that. Um, we, uh, we're going to be involved with a, if this project goes forward, a signature project here in, in the community. Um, so that's going to be exciting as well. It's significant because this agreement um, will allow us to put our people to work on this project. I believe it's going to have a positive impact on the community by bringing more jobs to the area and more revenue for the surrounding businesses. Today was important. We've been saying all along that we're going to put jobs back into this community. And the representation that we've had here of all the union trades that are here today, we're going to have 500 on-site jobs that will go for approximately a year here for construction. Uh, equally as many out in the community will happen to support the trades that are working here. And then after that's done, there's another thousand permanent jobs that are going to happen here. 
So we've created an affiliation here. We've signed a labor agreement uh, committing that we're going to use union labor on this uh, project. You know, that'll make sure we're going to have a first class quality uh, facility when it's done. Very similar to what we have here existing. So we're after 